All right, so this is a video on how to change the um, apple juice file that we made earlier to do the replications to just making the histogram or the dot plot. In your book, they actually have dots, which is great because they're showing you that what you're really graphing is um, the frequency or the number of times that we see something at, at a certain measurement. So the x-axis is the measurement. So in uh, the case of coin flipping, it would be... Uh, percent heads out of 10 flips, so you would expect a spike at 0.5, for example, so that would go from 0 to 1. Um, and the y-axis is every time a cadet flips a coin 10 times, what percentage of heads did they get? That would be plotted on the y-axis as uh, like a one of those charts where you put a hash mark every time it happens. So the more and more it happens, you'll see more dots appear along that particular value. And um, as you would expect, there should be more, every time you do this, you should see more around 0.5. But how do we make this dot plot? It will not show that way on the histograms. So it's going to show smooth. But the histograms are the dot plots. They're one and the same. So the first thing is I need to set my directory. So recall that you go to session, set working session, uh, set uh, go to the directory. And I'm going to go, my file is in data. So I'm going to go and hit that so that it knows. Then I have to control enter on those libraries again so that they're loaded. And now I'm gonna call this file data and I'm gonna read the file from class that we saved, which I don't remember what, what it was. Um, <coughs> so let's go to data and it was a file called word length so I'm just going to do property so I don't make any mistakes and copy and paste that word length and I'm going to go here and replace where I says I our apple juice data I'm going to replace it with word length because that's the file and then I'm going to go control enter now um, over here see a file called data has appeared I'm just going to check that and you see that the word number is here, the length of the letters is here, contains E is here. Now, if I go over here, I don't need this count. This was to do with um, our p-value business. I don't need this replication. I'm going to delete all these things. And I'm going to de delete this um, replications thing. That was about the null distribution. I'm not creating a null distribution. I'm going to go over to here where it says replication. So I need to delete everything from where I read the data to replications. Um, and then here, I'm not going to have data. I need that file. But if you recall, in replications, um, I might still have the file here. Let's see. I don't have the file anymore. But replications only had one column. I only want to keep one column to generate that, that plot. So if you want to keep one column, the command is going to be, I'm going to call it word count. I have this letter count. And I'm going to call that um, select data. That's my original file. And I'm going to look for the column that was the length of the number of letters. So I'm going to go like that. I'm going to delete this data dollar. I don't need it. So what that's doing is, it's now making a new data file which only has the length of the number in letters. So let's do control enter and look over here. There's this letter count. And now it's like my replications file. It only has one column. Um, so now where it says let replications, I'm going to put letter count, which is my one column file. And my x-axis will be the length of the number of letters. Before it was proportions, but I don't want proportions. And um, I'm going to go down here. Um, X was word length. And Y will be count. Now this part here, this X intercept, is, we did that for the rhesus monkeys. Uh, it puts a line. So this is the red line. We don't need that. And if I delete that, I don't need this plus sign because there's not an extra line. 
So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to go now. I, it should work. Dun, 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 dun. Control, enter. There it is. So here is my word length histogram. Now you're asked some questions about this histogram, this dot plot. This is the dot plot. Um, in your worksheets, you're asked some questions about it. Um, and um, we're going to have to answer those questions, like what's the center, what's the shape, and so forth. But now you have the figure. If you want to save that figure or send it to me, you can export, save as an image, save as a PDF, and then send it over to me so that I know you've got it down. Now, final thing, save this file. Don't call it H hour. I'm going to call it how to make a histogram dot plot. So I remember the next time I need it, I pull up this file. And I'm also going to put in some comments here. So I remember next time what it was about. And then here, I'm going to put So now I have a template, so the next time I need it, I can use it. Save, how to make a histogram, dot plot, and you're done.